This is Manor Zone with them being so tight to the formation. Three three and outs for Chicago. Foles took a shot to the helmet. That ball is picked up by Minnesota. It's going to be an incomplete pass. Eric Wilson might have knocked it down. It's an incomplete forward pass. Fourth down. Foles took a shot up high as well. Yeah, it's going to be a fourth three and out for Chicago. And here's Eric Wilson right here. They're going to try to throw the, the underneath route. And uh, Wilson's just in the way. But I, I don't understand, you know, the, these tight formations because it's really hard to see uh, man or zone. You see a little bit of a right hand there by Odenibo to the side of the head. That's a clear right hand. A little bit. Head. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice <laughs> 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 penalty. <laughs> Fourth and five. John Perry should have been at least a, a fourth flag on that last play. Yeah, that is helmet to uh, contact to the helmet of the quarterback there with the right hand. Forcible contact. One of the things that happens when there's not a lot of penalties in a game. Your mind gets lulled into this sleep and maybe you're not processing things the way that you should. That is a foul and we should have had a flag there to extend the drive. You know, we touched on it earlier, the hit on Drew Brees yesterday by Kentavious Street. A lot of people didn't like the roughing the passer call, but as Ed Warner reported earlier, Brees is going to be out, broken ribs on both sides, collapsed long, will probably be out two to three weeks. I mean, the league is trying to not lose their starting quarterback. So you, you can't have it both ways. You can't hate that roughing the passer call and then be okay with Drew Brees being out for two or three weeks. It's got to be, and the league is looking to protect their most important assets. And that's their star quarterbacks. And Nick Foles was not afforded that protection on that last series. Yeah. 